Okay, time to figure out what's on this thing. All right. So today we're going to play Inscription. This is a game that has been recommended to me by a couple friends, and they said, much like some of the other games I've played, it's best going in without knowing anything about it. So, all I know is the basic description of the game. It's card game, horror, uh, and puzzles. So, I, you know, from the Steam page, it looks like there's going to be stuff other than card game. Uh, looks like you're going to be... Uh, well, I mean, even in the description it says escape room, so you're going to be in a room. That's as much as I know. <laughs> so we'll see how much of it is card game, how much of it is escape room, and how much of it is horror. It certainly looks pretty dark. And uh, the intro here has a little bit of an ominous background sound here. You hear the little ticking. And uh, yeah, let's check it out. Pressing any button. Great. New game, continue, options, credits, and quit. New game. New game does not let us new game. Well, this is highlighted. We're going to try continue. Click and drag. Click and drag. Oh, got it. I cannot look around yet. There's eyes. Another challenger. It has been ages. Perhaps you have forgotten how this game is played. Allow me to remind you. Good. Play the squirrel card. I will play the squirrel card as you command. Now play your stoat. Can I... I can press S to look at my hand. Click on the stoat. Stoats cost one blood. Sacrifices must be made. Okay. An honorable death. Play the stoat. Okay. Kind of like Yu-Gi-Oh. Go back. Wolves require two sacrifices. You don't have enough. Ring the bell to end your turn and commence combat. Let's do that. Fight! Your stoat stands unopposed. The number on the bottom left is its attack power. One. Alright. Bam. We did one. Your stoat dealt me one damage. I added it to the scale. You win if you tip my side all the way down. How many is that? It's kind of arbitrary it seems. Oh! I won! Like this. My turn. Okay, so he puts a coyote. Your stoat stands in the way of my coyote. My coyote dealt two damage to your stoat. That means your stoat's health is two less. If a creature health, if a creature's health reaches zero, it dies. It's your turn again. You may draw from your deck, or you may draw a squirrel. Okay, so his squirrel. Uh, hold on. Okay, so squirrels like just the baseline. You can get one of these. This is my deck here, right? I'm gonna draw from my deck. A river snapper? How reckless of you. I see the issue. Hang on. I, you are lacking sacrifices for that creature. I... I've goofed already. Here I am playing a card game. I've, I've messed up already. Well, we're gonna be taking damage next turn because we can't put anything down to block whatever he does next. Our stoat is going to kill his, uh, his coyote though, so that's good. And we just sort of miss out on our turn, because I goofed. So we'll ring the bell. Because you are learning, I will pass. Okay, that was nice of him. You've drawn all the creatures from your deck. A squirrel is your only choice. I wish more games were like that. You know, like Magic the Gathering, you lose as soon as you run out of cards. In you know, Hearthstone, you start taking damage. Uh, lots of games, uh, there's the virtual games generally have you take damage when you run out of cards. Seems kind of cool to give you just a baseline card that you can draw, just in case you have a good stance on the board. Um, but then I guess you remove milling strategies. 
We're going to use the squirrel. Put him down. And then we want to sacrifice. Sorry, I have to press S to go back. Can I use the river snapper? He has two sacrifices. Uh, he's got one one attack and six health. Is there a way I can... Oh, I, I can press S again to look at the stats. That's helpful. So if we want to put something really defensive, we could. Now, he doesn't have any blockers, so we want to go offensive here. We're going to use the wolf. Murder our two guys. Huh? Hey, stop. Fear not. The beast is sacrificed, but not removed from your deck. Cool. That's good. Uh, its suffering was real, but you will see it again. I shouldn't laugh at that, but it seems kind of, kind of funny. Uh, can we? That's it, right? Nothing else to do. Okay, ring the bell. We did three. We're winning. Three damage dealt. Three weights on the scale. Pass. Really? You're not going to put up any kind of a fight? I'll put the squirrel down, and that will be all. I'm just going to pass. The wolf dealt three. Oh, what was that? You've won this match. They won't all be so easy. I hope not. Let me recall your story. Oh, yes. You were lost deep in the forest. A single path revealed itself. I will take the single path. Two denizens of the forest approached you tentatively. An adder. Caustic adder. Damage from his poison bite is always lethal. Cool. The undying cat. Sacrificing the poor beast does not kill it. Only one may grace your paltry deck. Hey, hey. I like this. So... I can I can sacrifice the cat indefinitely, but he can also just put something down on his turn and kill it, right? So while infinite sacrifice it seems like the much stronger choice, I don't Oh, can I he had two rows. Will I get two rows so that I can put a blocker in front of the cat? If so, then the cat would be really good. Because I could put like the turtle down in front of it to protect it. Um and the adder it's good against less. You can just take out one thing, which is really good. It's really nice to keep that in hand and be like, oh, there's something I really need to work against and just put an adder down and take it out. I, you know what? We're going to try going with the cat just on the hope that they give us a second row to work with. Another creature joins your caravan. Great. Some of the creatures of the forest seemed willing to follow you. You came across an abandoned sack. You found a squirrel in a bottle. Break in case of emergency. Alright, that's great. And have a second. Another useful implement. I'll allow you to tip the scales with it. Three is as much as you can carry. Alright. So, squirrels and bottles. Uh, so that's just nice, just add a card to your hand. I don't know what the pliers would be for. Is that like just I can remove damage? You were ambushed while crossing some rough terrain. Okay, this is going to be a little different. <laughs> you sacrificed me while I was sleeping. It was the right play. I get it. Maybe. You will help me? Uh, play along for now. Oh, okay. You may now see my moves ahead of time. Uh, okay, alright. That's how we can... Make use of the cat, then. That's handy. Uh, this is... This is really neat. So, he has a wolf cub coming. Um, so this is what he's going to do next turn, right? Like, I wouldn't be able to hit that wolf cub right now if I wanted. Boulder's blocking. The stump is blocking. So I'm going to put the cat... I don't have the cat. Yes, I do. I'm going to put the cat... Oh, you were lacking sacrifices for that cat. But you do have a squirrel. Okay. So I can put the squirrel down. Put the squirrel down here. Need I remind you, your items may help. Yeah, I'm going to sacrifice the squirrel, put this cat down. Putting him down behind the stump so he has some protection. And then we will probably want to open up this stump, but for now... Now I've got the stoat. One and three, one and six on the river snapper. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the river snapper right now. We will sacrifice that cat. Yep. 
and put the stoat down here. Actually, he's going to work on the stump. That's what we'll do. And then, oh, here we go. Unfortunately for him, I'm probably going to end up sacrificing him for a wolf to put in this lane. Uh, okay, that's our turn. Good job, stoat. Mind the ambitious wolf cub. It ages swiftly. All right. So we're going to draw from our deck. Our wolf is good. Now, here's the interesting thing. I... Ah, uh, okay, I see, I see, I see. He's going to be playing that down next. I, I love that they show you what his cards are, otherwise it'd be a little bit hectic. Oh, what? oh, I can click on the pliers. I don't know how I feel about... I don't want to accidentally use them up. Uh, we do have squirrels. We're probably going to get more squirrels, right? Probably. Let's use it. Put the squirrel down, and then we will use the wolf, sacrificing the cat and the squirrel. Shoot. And I messed that up already. I didn't. I didn't. Go back. Go back. Undo. I didn't want the wolf here. I wanted the turtle because there's a bat. Although the bat has a flying symbol. I'm guessing he's going to fly over our guy and not attack us. So we'll just do that. Eh, hopefully it works out. We may have just countered ourselves. Good enough. We'll stop with that. Go stoat. Go wolf. Uh, now the bat's here. The airborne bat flies over creatures to attack directly. Perfect. That's what I was hoping, actually. Maha, my bat flew right over your wolf. Hey, that's pretty good that they recognized what was there. Uh, we'll pick up our card because we know it's going to be better than a squirrel. Although sometimes you need those squirrels for sacrifices. It's true. In fact, last turn I would have been better off picking up a squirrel to sacrifice the river snapper. Instead, I used my consumable. So our wolf is going to kill the bat, right? Am I right about that? Uh, his wolf is doing whatever. Hmm. We'll leave the stoat. The stoat's going to be okay for now. He'll finish off the stump. My wolf would finish off the stump, but just the same. Uh, so I think our wolf is going to kill the bat. I'm pretty sure the flying only affects when it attacks. So we'll press OK. Yep. Good. So his wolf finally killed that. I'm going to take my squirrel. And then I'm going to put a... Uh, we're going to put a river snapper there. So we'll put the squirrel. And then river snapper. Destroy these two and put them down there. So he's going to end up killing the wolf because he'll do one damage. The wolf deals three and then the river snapper deals one back. And that'll finish him off. Uh, we could sacrifice the stoat and put the wolf down just to kill him faster. But I think we're pretty close to finished and I don't want to kill the stoat. We got him. You prevailed and trekked onwards past the now bloody terrain. I love that they made this an, like a, a story thing. That's great. The map moves as we move. Okay, we've got two options, I guess. The young wolf cub. It grows into a wolf after a single turn. Seems inferior to the wolf, in my opinion. The meek sparrow. An inexpensive, if feeble, flying creature. So that could help block against other flying creatures. So the wolf cub... Oh, wait, no, the wolf cub doesn't require two sacrifices. It's only one sacrifice. That's actually pretty good. Hmm. But then we'd be kind of blocking our own board. The Sparrow has better potential for the late game. So like, say we're getting stronger cards as the game goes on, the Sparrow's gonna be more useful as just like a guy who can block the air units. Whereas the Wolf Cub, his only use is as a three damage wolf. I'm gonna take the Sparrow. What's this? You stumbled into some strange stones in the mist. Okay. Where'd you pull these from? You were compelled to choose a worthy sacrifice. One that will be lost forever. Oh. Who's going away? It's goodbye, Sparrow. I like the cat. What's this? <laughs> you looked upon your menagerie and selected a healthy host. Wait, what? Am I... Making one of my guys flying? That would be pretty cool if that was the case. Uh, he, he, want, he says pick me. Uh, do we do that or, or like, are, oof. Are we going to let the cards manipulate us or are we just picking what's best? I don't know. I guess I don't know if it's actually going to like give flying to one of our guys. 
because it says a healthy host as if it's going to host the 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 things uh abilities in fact dang it if i knew that's what was going to happen i should have sacrificed the cat for the river snapper made the river snapper uh somewhat immortal that would have been good um he wants us to pick him how do i feel about that he's a one three flyer a little bit stronger Having a 3-2 flyer would be nice for just dealing damage. Having a 1-6 flyer would be nice for defending against flyers. 1-3 is actually just the worst choice all around. I'm not a fan of that. Mm, I don't want to pick you. But then maybe it's not going to give us flyer. Okay, you know what? Let's, let's pick him just because it has, says to. I'm succumbing to peer pressure. What an honor. Okay, yeah, he got flying. A ghastly spectacle, but the soul of the sparrow now lives in the stoat. Wow, that's cool. That's cool. Of course, I made the worst choice, you know, as far as the game is concerned. Ooh, what's this? Behold my totem. It inscribes my canine cards with the airborne sigil. Oh. He's completely insane. You see that, right? No care for the rules. Pathetic, really. Enough. Only keeps me around to watch me suffer. Okay. Why aren't the others talking? Why is it only the stoat? Um, okay, so this is where it's... 2-1 uh, and a 2-1 flying. They're both flying. Uh, well... You know what we'll do? We'll put the cat down. For a start. Oh, wait. Put the squirrel down. Right there. We'll put the cat down here. We're just going to take two damage per turn. And this way, if they put something... Well, I guess I can't... Oh yeah, I can kill them with uh, other sacrifice. So, we will put the stoat. Sacrifice him. Put him down. Back on the board. Yep, you are. Now, we could use our squirrel here. We could use a squirrel to put a, st a wolf down and just get ahead of him. Because he's going to be dealing... Four damage to us next turn. We're gonna do that. Put the squirrel down. Put the wolf. Sacrifice the cat. Sacrifice the squirrel. And put the wolf over here just to get going. So we'll be dealing four damage to him this turn. Let's go. And they're gonna deal four to us. My totem has granted my coyote the power of flight. All right. Um, now, if I were to pick, can't see his, his next turn yet. If I were to pick up this, I'd have to sacrifice something along with the stoat. Hang on. My stoat has flying. Why didn't he block? Does flying just go over units all the time? Regardless? If so, the stoat was really the worst choice. Uh, well, I guess we're putting a squirrel down. We'll just... Whatever. Put a squirrel. I guess I should have held on to that. Whatever. They did four. So we can't even hit his flying guy. You're one damage away from winning. Here's the wolf cub. We'll definitely pick this up so we can sacrifice it for a river snapper. Uh, it's better than a squirrel, I guess. What was that on the right side? I missed something there. Can I tell him to... Hang on. A card bearing the sigil will strike an opponent directly even if there is a creature opposing it. Okay. So, <laughs> behold, the rule book is what he said. Um, so that really sucks. I actually stopped my stoat from hitting the bat because of it. All right, I misunderstood the airborne rule. That's all right. We won though, right? Yeah. Impressive. You may yet survive this ordeal. Knock on wood. Knock, knock. Uh, all right, we're going to hit a crossroads here. So, w the watchful bullfrog. It leaps in the way of attacking flyers. Okay, there you go. So that's how we can... So it has a reach. If you're familiar with Magic the Gathering, that's how we block airborne guys. Usually you block them with other airborne guys too, but... 
The reviled st skunk. Its stench reduces the strength of the enemy. Mmm. By how much? Can I can I check more? Creature opposing a card bearing the sigil loses one power. Yeah, that's okay. Oh, another cat. Eh, that's gonna clutter the board too much. We're not gonna get another cat here. Um. Oh, hang on. But if we get more sacrifice, can I look back at the map? Uh, M, tab. Oh, that's not tab. Um. Hmm. Because if we get more sacrifice, we could just like put cats, cat spirits on all our things. That would be pretty neat. And then just keep sacrificing and building our board. The bullfrog. Being able to block airborne guys would be good. But it's also kind of useful to let them hit me sometimes. Maybe the skunk is the best choice. Because if we're talking about like putting the spirit of something on another card. Just having minus one of the enemy when they enter and when they attack would be really nice, actually. You know what? That makes sense. We're going to take the skunk. That applies to airborne guys. Uh, oh, oh, there we go. Spirit or a campfire. I'm guessing the campfire is getting more consumables, which we've been using. But I want to use that spirit. Uh, hmm. Can you put multiple spirits on one thing? Probably not, I would guess. Can I sacrifice the stoat to put his... Um, it's flying on something else? Hmm. There's a campfire up there. There's something else there. You know what? We're going to... Oh no, because the skunk is useless on its own. So we have to... We want to sacrifice him and put his uh, spirit on something else. Yeah. Alright. Goodbye, skunk. Oh, shoot, the cat, though. I also want to put the, the cat on something. Oh, well. I like this. Do we put on the wolf? Or do we put on the river snapper? Because my thinking on the river snapper here is if he has six health, he can just block that lane for a long time. But then at the same time, I don't know if we want to be blocking lanes for a long time. That could just... That could just clutter the field. Especially if they're able to get two rows... I don't know if they actually do get two rows of things, though. Hmm. And if we put on the wolf, then it gives him a chance to survive something. I have only two health. It's not going to be super effective. You know what? We're going to put on the river snapper. That's, we're going to have a tanky river snapper. There we go. Goodbye, skunk. Hello, river snapper. Let's fight this. Hmm. Well, let's start off by putting the cat down. Grand fur. He's going to be attacking with a grizzly. What? That thing is strong. Can we move this over here? No. This block's flying, though. Jeez. Okay, how do we beat that? Uh, I think we just outrun it. Outrace it. Can this guy? No. You're lacking sacrifices. You can't sacrifice a grand fur. All right. So if we put the wolf down, he's going to get mauled by that grizzly. We put the river snapper down. He's going to block the grizzly. But only he'll get killed on the second attack, even though we put the skunk on him. Uh, but then we can put the wolf down, deal some damage. He would, he would deal... You only end up dealing. Uh, the river snapper only ends up dealing one damage to that grizzly. Wow, that's that's pretty tough. Okay, well we're definitely putting. Oh shoot. So we'd have to put the squirrel down, put a cat, and that's it. Dang, I wish I had more consumables here. Oof, we're gonna take some damage. Can I draw another card, please? What does this actually do? Oh, here. Pliers, to the user, you will place a weight on the scales, the, the pain is temporary. Alright. You will place a weight on the scale. On his side, I imagine. Uh, well. Oof. I am not a fan of this. This is not a good choice. We're going to be taking four damage. And then... 
I think we just pass. We just pass, right? We're not going to throw the squirrel or the cat in. Throwing the squirrel in doesn't help our situation at all. Because we just draw one squirrel next turn. So, yeah, we just pass. There's no limit to the number of actions you can take in a turn, I think. As far as I'm aware. Oh my lord. We are screwed. Oh, we're just completely screwed. Uh, we need another squirrel. We got some and stuff. Squirrel. The squirrel down. Squirrel down. We got to use the squirrel for a cat. But the cat's going to get killed right away. Uh, we'll just put the river snapper here. Well, there's no point putting the river snapper right now. We might as well put the wolf and start killing that guy. And then hope we draw another wolf. Ouch. Okay. So be it. That is how we're doing this. And then we need another sack. Oh, we're going to lose the wolf. We're just going to be taking damage from the sparrow here. We can't do anything to stop that. Okay. We may have lost already. Ouch, these grizzlies are nasty. So, if I pick up... Oh my gosh, I don't have any sacrifices. We, That's it. We're done. Alright. Pick up a card. Oh. There's a way out for both of us. It's somewhere in this foul cabin. Be silent or I will tear you to shreds. Not now. Draw a card first. Hold on. Can I just leave? Okay, so we can go... Oh, there's a whole bunch of stuff here. But what? Wow. Some strong cards. I can... Look at that. Look at that. Let me out of here. Draw a card again? You may only draw a card at the beginning of your turn. Well, I'm just, I'm just dead, aren't I? There's no option here. There's no cards to put down. That's it. I lose. You've lost. Using this as a learning opportunity may be the only way to mitigate my disappointment. Get up. Get up from the table. Oh, here we go. Fetch me the candlestick from atop the barrel beside the door. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Okay, can I... Oof, that's a little jarring. The candlestick that's from beside the table. Can I... Jeez. Okay, got the candlestick. Bring it here. Yep. There's all this stuff. There you go. Now sit back down. Okay. Ooh, there's clock. I do anything with the clock? Oh, a combination. Ah, that wasn't it. What are these guys? Can't do anything with them. All right. Can I pick the. Oh, I can tap it. Neat. Hello. I hope you don't mind that I'm messing with your stuff here. Uh, give it to me. Okay. Oh, I turned I put out a candle. Well, I guess let's try again. Let me explain something to you. Oh, that was one of the two mistakes you can make here. If you make another, I must sacrifice you. Now, where were we? <laughs> That's pretty good. Um, all right, do we want the campfire or do we want the backpack? I don't know what either of them does. Can I right click them? Let's go for the backpack. We've saw, we've seen a campfire already, so maybe they're more common. All right, what are our options here? The flighty elk. It moves after attacking. 
it moves to the right always, or do I get to choose where it moves to? Uh, seems neat. The ornery po porcupine. Sharp quills await those who dare attack it. Is it just the one damage? Sharp quills. Once a bear part, yeah, struck. The striker's then dealt a single damage point. Eh. The stalwart snapper. A near impenetrable defense. Oh, a little mushroom. Well, the elk seems the most useful of these. Attack and then move. That's cool. We'll pick up the backpack. A gust from this may lift your creatures into the air, if only for a turn. Alright. A rock may get you out of a hard place. Choose one. Uh, the boulder or flying? Flying's good for like a sudden strike kind of thing. The boulder's actually really helpful in, I guess, situations like where we had that, uh, all those grizzlies. Then again, having the squirrel just to be able to summon an extra thing, like on turn one, really gets us a step ahead. Hmm. I think this is my last choice of these three. The boulder is essentially... Like, I'd be using the squirrel to be able to summon a snapper or something as a blocker, which is what the boulder does anyway. It doesn't block quite as much as the snapper. You know what? The squirrel's gonna be better, I think. I'll take the squirrel. I shouldn't have used those. Oh! Choose another. Oh, well, I'm going to take another squirrel. Why, thank you. Feeling overburdened enough with a full three items, you carried on. Alright. Boss time? The trees seem to close in around you as a chill mist des descended. In the distance, you could hear the clinking of metal on stone. A hobbled figure stood in your path. Ooh. Yeehaw! Twas the prospector! He's doing the prospector again? Easy, boss. The mule's key. A mule? I don't have a mule. There's this coyote and a pack mule. Okay, so he's going to move. At the end of the owner's turn, a card bearing the sigil will move in the direction inscribed in the sigil. Alright, so he's going to move to the right. Yep. And that's what I have with my elk. So I would want to be putting my elk on the left side so that he moves. There's a coyote. Why is the pack mule key? Hang on. At the end of the owner's turn. It'll move. So, does it not move if there's a coyote in the way, or will it jump past the coyote if there's a coyote in the way? I'm guessing I don't want to kill the coyote right away because then it would be blocking the boulder. Like, like... Okay, here's my thinking. Pack mule. If there's no coyote at the end of his turn, the pack mule will move. And then it'll move again, and then it'll move again. And then it's blocking this lane, so he'd never put a card in this lane. Which means my boulder would never get destroyed, which means I'm stuck on three cards. So I want to leave the coyote alone for now. And I want to leave the pack mule alone as well. Um, yeah, I think that's right. Oh, we don't have our cat. Where's my cat? Dang. So yeah, I want to leave both of them alone right now. I take two damage, so be it. We can, uh... I guess we're using the stoat here. We'll put the stoat here, and it'll just... Go hit on that side. You know what, actually... I'm gonna put the stoat down on this one. He'll deal one damage to the pack mule. That's okay. Over five turns, I don't think it'll be a big problem. We're gonna want to kill the, the coyote by then, anyway. So we'll put the squirrel down. Put the stoat. Right there. This spot. You sure? Yeah, this spot. Can I move you? No. Oh yeah, and you're not even going to be hitting him anyway. He's flying over him. That's perfect. Good. Yep. So we were right about him not being able to move. We're hoping for a cat here. Uh, give me a cat. Perfect. Shit. Uh... Of course, I cannot actually... To... 
I could sacrifice the stove right now. That doesn't help us much because it would only get us a cat, which is worse. So we need to actually, well, I guess we just want to use a squirrel. Yeah, we want to use a squirrel. Let's do it. Shoot again. Sorry, Mr. Stoat. You're getting sacrificed for a cat. Uh, yep, that's what we're doing. Bye, Stoat. Wow, seriously? We're putting a squirrel down. And we're sacrificing the squirrel for an elk. Hmm. I think we're just getting defensive to start with here. Our river snapper is going to sit over there. Yeah. And we will just take two damage. Good enough. And we want to sacrifice... Hmm. Problem is, I don't know how long we want to keep this up. Like, we, we, we're hoping he puts something down, right? If he puts something down, then we're happy to kill the coyote. So... Yeah. So I'm going to draw a squirrel. I mean, I guess at worst, we could just put the squirrel down as a blocker. Oh, he's not putting something down. So that's that. So we'll put the squirrel down as a blocker. Okay. There we go, now he did. So we'll draw another squirrel. Put the squirrel down. And then we'll sacrifice the squirrel and the cat. Put the elk down. The elk will kill the coyote. This guy will move forward and attack that, and then the pack mill will move left. Excellent. Um, and then... Well, we as well draw this. In case we want to sacrifice something for a sudden attack. A mole. What does a mole do? Hang on, no, let me look at this. Okay. Brewer, when an empty space would be struck, a card bearing the sigil will move to that space to receive the strike instead. Okay. Well, that's neat. So, he'll be taking the two damage from the elk, and I'm fine with that. Uh, we are going to grab a squirrel, because we'll need one for the next round here. And we'll just end. So, we're going to deal... Oh. Oh, he hadn't placed it yet. Okay. Oh, the pack mule moves back. I see, I see. Well, we're putting a... Oh, you need to draw a card first. Uh, well, it's just going to be another wolf, right? I think we actually want another squirrel right now. So we'll put a squirrel down. And then we will sacrifice squirrel with cat. Put the wolf down. Kill the coyote. And then the river snapper will be taken, dealing one damage to the mole. Ooh, which is unfortunate. We don't want that. Because then he might put a guy down here and kill our cat. Oh, well. So be it. Oh, what's this? What was that? Dang, dab it! My mule! Oh, that's why the mule was key. He was carrying a bunch of stuff. That's hilarious. Okay. Well, looks like we're doing all right here. We've got lots of squirrels, so let's just draw our last card. There we go, we have our extra wolf. Andy. And... Elk is gonna hit the mole. River Snapper and Wolf are gonna hit the dude. We're doing well. I think we won this. Oh, right. I guess they both hit him. Which is perfect. I hope you didn't think it would be that easy. There's gold in them cards. Okay. Oh, you meanie. G -g gold I've struck gold. Can I sacrifice the gold for my cards? So he is using a bloodhound. Guardian. When an opposing creature is placed opposite to an empty space, a card bearing this sigil will move to that empty space. Okay, so it's just like the burrow, except he'll move over immediately. He doesn't, like, jump around a whole bunch. Okay. Can I... 
All right, you're out of space. There's no room for that card. There's nowhere for that card to be played. So I cannot sacrifice the gold. I just have to sit here and let him do his thing. All right. Fair enough. Get him. All right. Now I can put one squirrel down and sacrifice for a single thing. Two and three. So this is where we'd want to use the ad adder, I guess. Uh, so we can't sacrifice two things for the wolf. So we'll put one squirrel down. We'll sacrifice. Never mind, the adders cost two. So we'll put a porcupine down. <laughs> Porcupine's gonna die. And he's not even gonna succeed. Oh well. End our turn. Oh, there's the adder. A thorny rebuke. Mm hmm. So we're gonna put a squirrel down and sacrifice for another porcupine. And that'll be our turn. We'll kill that guy. The adder will kill the gold nugget, and then we should hopefully be able to. Actually, what can we do? We can just put another squirrel down, really. Uh, unless we want to sacrifice the porcupine. I'd rather just sort of like wait around, to be honest. I'll take the slow. We will just lose one squirrel. That's okay. We're giving him... We're basically passing. We're giving him another turn. Which isn't great. Um, but yeah, I'd, I'd still rather just... Ooh, you know what? One squirrel... I take it back. You know what? We're going to sacrifice here. We do have a limit. This is how many cards we have left for damage, though, right? Like, after this, we're kind of done. All we have is squirrels, and they can't win the game for us. So we, we want to be conservative with our porcupine. We'll wait. We'll wait. Hopefully he'll summon thing, something over there. It's a wolf cub. All right. Oh, no. Is that it for squirrels? Oh, no. This is bad. I assumed we had an infinite supply of squirrels. Uh, okay, two of these, two of these for the wolf and two of these for the adder. So I want to let his adder hit me right now. Yep. All right, so then the battle has taken a toll on you. Your supply of new creatures was exhausted. Starvation began to set in. Uh, I wasn't expecting starvation. Dang it. Oh, and this wolf cup didn't even kill this. Hang on. After one turn on the board. What is this? Repulsive. If a creature would attack a card bearing the sigil, it does not. <gasps> Whoa, that's strong. Whoa, okay. So that thing is just going to hurt me forever. Uh, unless I put a porcupine in front of it, right? Porcupine would kill it when it attacked. Dang. So we're taking another hit. That's just how it's going to be. Okay. Got it. Yep. Oh, it puts another starvation. Oh, no. Oh, this is awful. All right. Squirrel. Squirrel. And sacrifice the squirrels for a... Wolf here. Wolf kills his wolf, and... Dang, this is bad. Okay, all right. I think we've lost this. I shouldn't have waited. I didn't realize the, the stakes there. Can I just use it to pliers? Uh, it's gonna put... It's gonna put a starvation in front of my wolf. That sucks. And then he's gonna kill my porcupine anyway, so... Put a squirrel down. Sacrifice these two for the adder. Adder can't attack this guy. Yeah. And then put a squirrel down just to block two damage, I guess. Eh. Alright. We should get one damage in next turn anyway. But he's gonna get like three, so. Crap. Okay, starvation's bad. Uh, can we win this with the pliers? Oh, shoot, what the heck? 
Oh, I took out a tooth. A well-earned point of damage. I didn't think he would really do it. That sucks. I just took out a tooth. Well, that's about it. I mean, I could use the squirrel to block damage, but that's not going to help me in the long run, so... We're hoping this one point wins. Haha. <laughs> Alright, starvation sucks. Well, I lost more gold for me. Okay. Oh, you aren't dead yet. This isn't purgatory. Though you may think of it that way. Before you expire, I must ask you a favor. I would like a memento. Your very own death card. Okay, I'm going to become a card. It's quite plain at the moment, isn't it? We will work together to amend that. I want this to be the perfect memento of you. Here are some cards from your mediocre deck. Yep. We can put them to good use. Please, choose a card to draw the cost from. To draw the cost from? Uh, Where is this going? I don't want a two cost cat, so we're gonna, we're gonna grab a one cost. A cost of one blood from the cat. And another. This time I will use its power and health. The numbers. Well, not much of a choice there. Three power and two health from the wolf. Now choose a card from which we will extract the sigils. I only have one choice. A sigil of sprinter from the elf. From the elk. Excuse me. Not an elf. I never did ask you your name. Well, what what are we going to name this card? I'm not going to give him my name. I don't trust this guy. Uh, well, it's a one cost three two. That moves. What kind of an animal would do that? Like, hit and run. I don't know. Um, why am I blanking on, on animals right now? I don't know, we're gonna call it a marmot. There is now but one final matter. The portrait. Ooh, are you ready? You do not need to smile. Okay.